What's up guys? This is Teresa Neris. This is my channel. Make sure you go on down there, hit subscribe, hit the like, hit the bell, all that good stuff that you know, and jump down in the comments. Tell me what you think about this content. Today we are covering some of the questions and comments that you guys leave down in the comment section. And I wanted to talk about something that Miss Delgado said. She said, like they say in the Bible, if you live by the sword, you shall die by the sword. You cannot combat evil by using evil. I love this comment. And it's very relevant for internet life, right? So we can go in and we can start trying to destroy things that other people have created, but that energy is gonna be returned to you. I find that it actually makes way more sense to go out there and create something. This is something that I've always had this philosophy since I was a kid. We need to learn to create more than we've learned to consume. And I think that people who, th there are two kinds of people in the world, right? <laughs> those that consume or destroy and those that create. And I always try to lean on the side of create. And I always ask myself that question, or I try to, when I go into a situation, if, if I'm gonna say something or do something, I wanna ask myself first, is this going to create something or is it going to destroy something? Now, I will also say that truth does destroy. You can go into a situation, you can bring truth and things can crumble because of it, which obviously I've experienced plenty of in my life, as I'm sure y'all have as well. Uh, but there's a balance here and that's not exactly what I'm talking about when it comes to this because truth is good, truth is light, truth is not evil. And so there is like a penetrating uh, destruction that I guess will come uh, as strongholds are broken down. So that's something that we talked about in another video is demonic strongholds. So there is an idea that, you know, there are evil structures on this planet that will be pulverized in the end by light. And, uh, we are humans and we are called into communion with God and we walk with God and we are called into certain arenas where uh, maybe things are gonna get broken down a little bit, but we wanna do this in love. There's a difference between bringing truth into a situation in love and bringing truth into a situation that's seeking to destroy. And truth in its capital T form, I would say, isn't in that negative way, right? So when you come into a situation, if you are um, bringing some kind of heavy truth, it's always important to give the benefit of the doubt and figure out like how you can bring it into this arena with grace. Um, and that's why I say give the benefit of the doubt. When we sit there and we assume that uh, this person uh, across from us has a negative intention, it's going to change the way we respond or change the way we go into a situation. So if we can always just try to soften our hearts and say, you know, I don't really know how this person feels. I don't know what they've gone through. I don't know what their experience is. And speaking to the heart of the person is much better than uh, bringing some kind of information in a very abrasive or rude way. Um, that's that's really not what we're called to do. Um, so anyway, those are just some of my errant thoughts. I love your thoughts here, Miss Delgado. Thank you for uh, jumping in, chiming in, and uh, sharing. Um, yeah, I hope y'all have a great day and I'm excited to hear what y'all think about this. What are y'all's thoughts? Jump down in the comments, let me know. Again, this is Teresa, this is my channel. Go on, hit subscribe, hit the like, hit the bell, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.